I'm in Bangkok. This is one of my most favorite cities in the world, and I'm going to be exploring the food, things to do here, and a lot more. About to leave, already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. Hi everyone and welcome to Sugar Spice Nice. My name is Shweta and in this video I'm in Bangkok, Thailand. So if you want to know what all you must do in Bangkok then make sure you watch the whole of this video. So I'm staying here at the Mercury Hotel in the Sukhumvit area. According to me this is the best area that you can stay because it's literally in the middle of all the action. Good nightlife, good spas, good food and of course good shopping as well. I have to say this is one of the most interesting hotel lobbies I've come across. It looks really really gorgeous. This is my room here at the Mercury Sukhumvit. Firstly, let's just admire the amount of space in the room. So there's a little seating section, sofas by the window. It's a kind of desk where you could sit down and enjoy some dinner if you're ordering room service. And then we have the usual, there's a tea counter, there's mini bar bathrobes, the ironing board, safe as well. This is the bathroom and there is a giant bathtub. I am so excited. There's also a separate shower cubicle. This is the pool area of Mercury and I love how they've made it. Oh, the hotel actually provides a shuttle to the tourist station. train is the perfect way to travel when you're in Bangkok. You can get a day pass or you can buy individual tickets but it is such a smooth hassle-free way for getting from one destination to another. One day pass costs 140 baht for the whole day per person and it is unlimited amount of traveling on the SkyTrain. Bangkok has a lot of street food. In fact, if you eat meat, seafood, then this place is going to offer you such a variety. Some of the most popular areas to sample local street food are Yawarat or Chinatown, Sukhumvit Soy 38, and actually even food courts inside malls. If you're vegetarian, then indulging in street food is a little bit of an issue, but have fun trying the desserts, especially the local coconut ice cream. So she takes a whole coconut, empties it out and inside is basically just the cream of the coconut and the coconut has been cut in half. She added a chunky scoop of coconut ice cream and now we're adding some topping. I think I want more mango chunks in my ice cream so that's what I'm sticking to. And just a little bit of crunch. This is how pretty the ice cream looks. This is so good. Mango is adding such a burst of um, sweet and sour kind of alternating flavor. Mm. This tender coconut ice cream cost me 60 baht. You can also try a wide variety of Thai fruits which you will find everywhere and even fresh fruit juices. While traveling, if there's one meal that I really look forward to, it's a buffet breakfast. It's a great way to have a lot of fruit, a little bit of salad. And here they actually also had a range of smoothies. But apple, watermelon, dragon fruit. And you have to see the color. It is such a gorgeous shade of pink. I can definitely feel all of that goodness going in. And they also have these dishes that you can order individually. The only thing that I can have here is a vegetable sandwich. This is honestly feeling good. Super generous amount of lettuce inside. Now looking back, eyes on the freeway, Bonnie and Clyde. Cliche. I also ended up finding a lot of cute Italian restaurants like this one. I've ordered a portion of minestrone soup. It's got a ton of vegetables, broccoli, squash, spinach probably, tomatoes, a hint of pesto. The vegetables are really nicely cooked. They're not mushy, but they're not like over chewy. So 
I'm enjoying this. This is my margarita pizza, 13 inch pizza. Mm. This is good. You can't come to an authentic Italian place and not order tiramisu. This is great. If you're specifically looking for Indian food in Bangkok, then I have a full guide to some of the best Indian restaurants here and it is vegetarian friendly. So I've linked it in the description bar below. Make sure you watch it later. Let's talk about Bangkok's famous nightlife. Nightlife here is all about good clubs, street food, party districts, rooftop bars and even night markets. For street food, there's Khao San Road at night. Then there are party districts at Nana Plaza, Pat Pong and Soy Cowboy. For a beautiful riverside shopping experience at night, you should head to the Riverside Asiatic. This is like a big open air mall and is a very different experience. You can also enjoy a dinner cruise or just chill at one of the rooftop sky bars when in Bangkok. But in general, the party scene here goes on till pretty late at night. And in fact, a lot of places, even my hotel, start offering a happy hour evening onwards. Whenever you're in Bangkok, the one thing that you absolutely have to do is get a massage. Now you'll find various kind of massage treatments here, but the one that I absolutely recommend is their foot massage or foot reflexology. Find this anywhere between 250 to 350 baht and there are these really nice cute massage places. Make sure you're going to one that is looking clean and hygienic. It is usually a one hour foot massage and it is absolutely relaxing. After a whole day of walking around, this is exactly what you need. You can also get the Thai body massage which is almost like guided yoga. So this does not have any oil and you're essentially wearing loosely fitted clothes and they're making you do various kinds of stretching. This is a tad bit more painful but do go in for it if you have the time. It's impossible to come to Bangkok and not shop. Now this place is where you find cheap fast fashion and you'll also find branded stuff but be careful while buying that. Two street markets that I recommend here are the Chatuchak market. This is the biggest market in the world and you'll find anything that you can think of here. And I also recommend the Pratunam market. This is specifically to buy clothes, buy tops and t-shirts from here and bargain a lot. There are a lot of big and interesting malls here for both wholesale and retail. The ones I recommend are MBK, Platinum and Terminal 21. I do have a full video on a complete shopping guide for Bangkok and I will link it in the description box below so make sure you watch it. Shopping does not end when you leave from Bangkok. Remember while going back home, definitely make it a point to check out the duty-free section at the Bangkok airport. I'm always on the lookout for deals on makeup and skincare and many a times I've ended up shopping here at Suvarnabhumi airport quite a bit. You'll find so many glimpses of Hinduism, Indian mythology in Thailand, in the temples and in a lot of their wall art and mural paintings as well. So here on the airport you can see this giant structure of Samudra Manthan. Bangkok temples are also a must visit in my opinion. The Wat Prakeo and the Grand Palace, the Wat Arun and the Temple of the Reclining Buddha or the Wat Pho are the ones that I recommend visiting. Do watch my video about these temples and you'll know everything on what route to take and how you can cover them all in a single day using public transport. I've linked that in the description bar below. Bangkok is a four and a half hour flight approximately from many cities in India and the best part is that visa is on arrival for Indians. So no visa hassles before going. Only thing, carry a passport size photograph and you get a two week visa for 2000 baht. But what's great is that until April 2020, there is absolutely no visa fee for Indians traveling to Thailand. So plan your trips soon. And flights cost you upwards of 12,000 rupees, depending on the kind of flight, timings, location that you're taking it from, etc. The currency there is baht and you can easily exchange dollars or rupees when you're in Bangkok. The hotel where I'm staying costs upwards of rupees 5,000 per night and it was amazing in terms of service, location and my overall experience. I would recommend staying in the Sukhumvit area close to Nana or Asok BTS station. 
So those are all the experiences that in my opinion you should have whenever you're in Bangkok. I've visited this city so many times but yet every single time I come here I feel I fall in love with it a little bit more and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you know somebody who's heading to Bangkok then make sure you share the video with them and stay tuned for more videos from my trip to Thailand and if you like this video then you know what you have to do like share it and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!